The Idol P65 is probably the most incredible budget smartphone I've ever seen. There are a lot of budget focused gaming smartphones such as the Technopova 6 as well as the Idol RS4. And when I first saw their retail prices, I was like, What the heck? But well, clearly, I've never seen one fall beneath the $100 category. For context, at $90, this P65 brings in a 15MP high-res camera, a 120Hz display, as well as one feature which has the potential to revolutionize smartphones forever. And I'm not even exaggerating it. Okay, when I first saw this packaging, I was immediately invested in how different this phone is trying to be from the others. Samsung trying to be different had them provide a stupid chargerless box, but I was surprised that at this price, somehow, some way, this $90 ITEL smartphone even added something new. Aside the smartphone itself, you get not one but two potential cases. Why that is, it yeah, makes sense later on. A USB C cable, and finally, a charging brick. Imagine the irony here. I believe the cheaper the phone, the more items are being excluded from the box. But this phone did exactly the opposite, which is a touch I really appreciate. And that touch of excellence extended to design and build quality. I can see that I was really fond of the Itel RS Force build, with that overhyped aesthetic that mimicked the $1200 ASUS ROG phones. But this one in particular looks just as good. It doesn't have all those spots and weird LCDs and all that, but I can say aesthetic wise, it still feels like something out of a sci-fi movie. Being completely constructed out of plastic, I applaud the attention to detail ITEL has put here, and it's even more impressive considering that there is no sign of flexing and bending if you grip this phone doing whatever you'll be doing. I said earlier that it lacked all those fancy ports and gimmicky LCD second screens, and it would have been pretty cool to see something like that. Well, this is $90 or roughly $140,000, and you get the niche options such as a side mounted fingerprint scanner which is pretty fast as well as a little button that sits above the volume lockers which ITEL calls the flex button. I'm a bit annoyed that ITEL had copied the iPhone's action button but I can say it's not entirely useless. You can customize it in such a way that one press would open a particular app and long pressing it can launch something else. There's even a secondary flash model below the smartphone's flash that ITEL calls the dynamic light show. What? The light pulses during notifications and gaming and whilst even charging. And it's even extremely customizable, which is very cool that you are getting this much control at such a price. Yes, you are now Kang on a budget. But when we turn to display, what should you actually expect at such a price point? Most new budget phones in 2024 brag about a symmetrical 120Hz display without actually improving anything else. Maybe they actually think it's a valid selling point. But I'm still happy that the Itel P65 is part of that gang. As you can see, you get a 6.7 inch 720p IPS panel with a 120Hz refresh rate. All these ones are pretty underwhelming but it's not entirely disappointing. I don't know about you but this is not an area to complain about before you go through my comments section again. If you've watched the video where I explained why Intel phones are very slow, you would notice that Intel had one thing holding them back for a long time, their software. Well, in 2024, ITEL has really started working on it and I'm saying this with 100% certainty. They overhauled the boot-up screen from this to this, which is arguably better. And all this is to make them stand out from the crowd, that being Techno and Infinix. And I'm saying that I'm pleased with how good of a job they are doing. This ITEL PC5 runs on ITEL OS 14 slapped on Android 14 Go Edition. ITEL really has to come up with a better name because don't you think it would have been weird if Infinix had like Infinix OS instead of XOS or Techno OS instead of High OS? You get the idea. But I'm optimistic about the future. Software wise, everything is pretty much the same, which is expected at this price. And when it comes to any potential software updates, you don't even bother looking here because you might still want software updates. You <laughs> are the performance is well, I can say it's pretty understandable. With how much they exaggerated the gaming premise on this phone, bringing a game space and all of that, they're clearly trying to tell you that this is for gamers. I wish actual performance suggested that. Behind this phone is the Insoft T615, and hear me out. I think this is the most powerful insult processor on the market, period. It's the same which powers the Technopop 9 as well as the Infinix Smart 9 which are very impressive phones. You get about 200,000 points on Antutu which I can say is very good for a sub $100 smartphone. Which is to show how much effort ITEL is putting in to max out the value you are getting for what you pay. For popular heavy duty games like Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG, it clearly performs to a good extent at low graphics and medium frame rate which I think really makes this exactly what they advertise to us. Good job ITEL and if you are enjoying this video, please kindly hit subscribe and leave a like as well. The cameras are very good for its price and even if people claim that 50MP cameras are now overhyped, 
We should know that previously you could only see that on phones which clearly surpassed the $500 mark. But since it's here at such an affordable price, it goes to show how far we have gone with budget phones, which makes more expensive phone quite redundant. But I'm working on a video to explain all that. The camera is very good for the price, even though a lot of people here criticize it as they seem to forget how much you actually pay for that. Honestly though, the video is pretty good at 1080p on the rear and 1080p on the 8MP selfie camera, even though it's still very basic. Now everything may look good, but that's not even the coolest bit. No kidding, this feature is very intuitive. I'm surprised I've never seen it previously as it's what cements this phone as one of the best budget phones to ever release. So you know that most phones shipping with a 5000mAh cell, which most gaming phones take to 6000mAh. This phone absolutely destroys that cap. Stop the cap! <laughs> it has a pretty good 5000mAh battery with 18 watt fast charging, and though it's expected for a budget smartphone. What they did next, I've never seen any smartphone company do. Remember that they bonded two cases in the box, and that's because aside the standard transparent silicon case, that secondary black case doubles as an extra battery or power bank that contains an additional 2400mAh battery that totals this phone capacity to 7400mAh. And it's so genius with how they pull this off. First is design. They're trying to emphasize that they want this to be a useful add-on, not just something that you slap on constantly, charge and remove, literally. It's no doubt so slim that it doesn't feel bulky, which makes it pretty normal to use on at all times. Secondly, in this phone's battery settings, there's support for bypass charging that carries the power from that case into the phone without affecting the 5000mAh battery in any way. It's very useful and I'm excited. However, it's said that this limited edition case can be available to a lot of phones, so it's best to get this phone now if you want that perk, and I recommend it, it's a no-brainer. Adding up, this is a $90 masterpiece, like jokes aside, a lot of useful features blended together at a price that other phones don't even come close to. However, I don't believe this is the first ITEL phone to have a lot of value at this price because the ITEL S24 has all these, plus the additional feature and ability to change its color. To check out that video, click the card on the screen and I will see you over there.